Welcome back to another TradingView Masterclass where we look at all of the tools on TradingView and help you navigate them, understand them, and harness all of their capabilities. Today we're looking at the forecast tool. You can see our mouse here is hovering over it. We also have favorite it here. Let's click the star icon to favorite a tool. It appears in your favorites toolbar. We're actually going to hide this for now, but we're going to head back to the forecast tool. We're going to click it and then we're going to make a prediction based off of what we see on the chart and we're not going to risk any real money this is not advice this is nothing of the sort it's just an educational video to demonstrate how this tool works so if we are looking at a chart of apple and we think that apple is going to keep going up in fact we even think it will go up within the next minute we can make a forecast just like that we clicked here to place the tool we moved our mouse and clicked again to finalize the tool to demonstrate where we think it's going to go we can always drag the starting point to any place that we see fit and what's happening right now is the forecast tool is on our chart it lists out some key stats so it shows the price move this means that it's apple going up three cents or about four cents if you round up which is a move of 0.02 percent and it even lists the time frame it says in one minute so we added this forecast tool to our chart because what we're saying is we want to take a prediction or forecast, make a guess that within one minute, Apple will go up 0.02%. There are other some key details here, such as the price that Apple would have to hit, as well as the date and the expiration time. So as you can see, Apple though, within this time frame is actually going down. So it's not looking likely that we that this that this is gonna be a successful trade. But what we can do here is just keep watching because the expiration date is within one minute. We're on this one minute candle right here. So let's sit around and wait so you can see in real time how the forecast tool plays out when you have a chart open in front of you. And so we're going to wait and in a matter of uh, seconds here, we'll move on to the next bar. It's looking like this trade is going to be a failure. And the coolest part about the forecast tool is that it will very quickly show you whether the trade was a failure or not, or we should say forecast because you're sort of making a forecast here. As you can see, we're now on to the next candle and that's beyond this point in time, failure. It was a bad forecast, you have failed. Uh, and in this example, it's just a learning lesson. We didn't risk any money. There's no actual prediction here, or a, it's just you testing out what you know about the markets on any time frame that you decide. So let us give you one more example, forecast tool. Let's now try to get a you know a better trade. And in this example, we don't think price will continue this massive green candle. Look at this green candle here. This is massive. Let's fade this candle a little bit. And let's say that uh, we believe in the next minute, Apple will be below the highs of this candle. So let's even just make it, you know, just a slight dip. We're just forecasting that the high here, see the top of the candle, the wick? We're forecasting, there you go, that Apple will not go over that within the next minute. Sure enough, it did not. And now it reads success. So the forecast tool can be used to place these forecasts directly on your chart. In TradingView, the platform will always be measuring and watching those forecasts for you. It is a sometimes overlooked tool, but you can really have so much fun with it and really perform a lot of different styles of research or back testing and it's not not in such a quantitative way but in an educational simple and rather effective way if you use it correctly for example we're on apple we're on a daily chart what we can do is we can select our forecast tool rather than risking any money or making any lofty prediction we can just say right now september 21st 2023 based on the looks of this chart we think Apple's going to be slightly down within the next week and will probably go down and test its double bottom here. So we're sort of thinking in this use case, this bottom will be tested. So as you can see, our forecast has been drawn. We have our expiration date. And now what we can do is just walk away from the chart and we can go to another symbol. Let's go to Bitcoin. So now we're on Bitcoin, we're on a daily chart. Let's make another forecast. So we can now say, based off of this candle and this dip and what we see here, it looks like Bitcoin will probably be mostly sideways, maybe for the next week. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of trend here. So we'll just go sideways and click. 
and let's go to the next chart and how about now we do gold so we'll do gc gold futures we can click our forecast tool this is a note we left we can delete that let's get our forecast tool selected this is interesting maybe just maybe there's an element of a trend forming here so maybe we want to play into that doesn't look too strong but it's notable and how about we say within a week we believe our for a week or so our forecast slightly up let's go actually let's make a lofty prediction let's say a percent on the dot so we can actually take this up to a percent exactly it says a percent right there based uh, uh you know on the date of september 29th click now the tool has been placed now we go on to the next chart so what's so cool about this is that now as you can see we'll go back to apple we have a prediction here it's saved it's never going anywhere it's always running let's go to btc usd we have a prediction here it's saving it's running and as well as we just showed you on gold go to gold we have also a we're saying prediction but we should be saying forecast a forecast here as well so with all that being said you can place these forecasts on as many charts as you like walk away do your research keep your eye on them build a watch list and you'll always be in the know whether your original forecast was correct or not. You could even add text near the forecast if you need context. So you could say, this is my forecast for, at, for oh, this is gold. We're looking at the gold chart for gold during our tutorial video. So we have this text here now. Let's just maybe take it to 14. Put this here. Let's make sure our chart is saved. It is saved, great. And now, as you can see, we've got uh, all of this uh, right here for us to always keep an eye out, out for. And as markets move, so as you know, time goes on, as markets move, we will find out whether our forecast was right or wrong. And if you do this across enough charts, what you're doing is you're creating a visual guide. You are creating a real process whereby you can always come back and check on your predictions or forecasts that you made in the first place and get that sort of success or failure that we were showing to you earlier in the video and why don't we just give you one more example by the way because we uh, we go to a one minute chart because often this is the best you know it's, i mean we're trying to show you examples of the forecast tool being a success or failure so we have to use a one minute chart but in this example why don't we just say it's going to close up slightly higher within the next minute let's double click on the tool we just want to remind you that in the settings menu you have quite a few options here to master the forecast tool such as customizing the color of the line to fit your needs perfectly you can see the color is changing here so whichever color you want it's up to you you can change the source text background the borders really uh, the customizations here are endless for this tool and really depends on your desire your look and feel what are you trying to achieve probably the most important customizations are going to be the success colors because if the trade is a success you really want this to change colors and you want it to catch your attention so we're going to go ahead and click this neon green so it's unmissable and even red here why don't we find uh let's find a a, a lighter red that might stand out even more so we've, we've changed the background for if the trades a success and a failure also you can customize the coordinates so rather than drawing this these tools as needed you can type in the exact coordinates as needed we're going to let this candle play out looks like this is going to be a failure so this forecast was a failure you'll see it it will turn red by the by the time we get to the next one minute candle but you can customize the coordinates as well so that they are exact wow look at that that was quite the dip there it actually looks like this is a an exciting day for trading because it looks like these lows are being breaking actually as we speak but nonetheless we're not risking any money here we're just using our forecast tool to make some predictions maybe we've lost touch with markets or we've had a few bad trades failure there it is and you can use the forecast tool to quickly place some harmless predictions just to learn more, to study, to research, or to play out over time. Remember, going back to our BTC chart, you may have already forgotten, we have a prediction on this chart, on the daily time frame. it's right here. And it will always be here, and we can check back in six days to see how it did. So it's a great way to hold yourself accountable as well for your 
predictions. So when you see people who say things like, I know that symbol's going up, or this is going to double in a certain amount of time, well, don't forget about that. Make sure you hold them accountable. Head over to a chart and go to say, you know, whatever time frame their prediction is on. Open up the forecast tool. Get your starting point, which would probably be the most recent price. They said it's going to double in a week or more. Place it on the chart. Does that look realistic to you? And that's not, that's really not even double. But take a, take a screenshot of this, a snapshot of this, or just let it sit on the chart. See what happens in a few days. It'll probably say failure because this would be a, a just enormous move. And now you've held that prediction accountable, that forecast accountable. So this is also a great tool for that as well. And of course, as we mentioned, you can leave notes to remind yourself about this specific forecast. So that is the forecast tool. Give it a try. It is totally an interesting tool to add to your existing strategy, research process, or if you're just new to trading and investing and want to place some forecasts on the chart to see how they play out, go give it a try because that is another way beyond paper trading or other tools to just test things out quickly or to see how forecasts play out. If there are analysts out there making predictions, you can add the analyst predictions to this chart directly just like that. We all know if you're an equity investor, analysts will say things, you know, they might say, Tesla is worth $400 a share or something to that regard. And if that analyst does say that, well, you can make your own analyst forecast and place it on the chart and you can have as many as you want. So we can actually have several here. And let's just say, for example, now we have all these forecasts and we can add some text and we can say analyst one prediction and we can analyst two, let's say that's analyst two and analyst three. Let's just say this is, let's make this three and let's make this two. And so as you can see now, what we've done is we have these forecasts placed on our chart that we can check back in at any point in time. And you can now hold those analysts accountables from, accountable for making such predictions. And you can have as many forecasts as you want. Just to give you another example of how to think about this, with these types of forecasts, you could make sort of an event tree. So depending on what event is to come, that's your prediction. So prediction one, new product, new product released. So if you think that maybe Tesla has a new product release that could change the market, here's your first prediction. If you think that, you know, prediction two is that more competition, more competition, comes to the market, maybe another electric vehicle company releases some sort of new product and that could really hit Tesla. Well, you can use the forecast tool to also measure out these kind of predictions as well. So ideally, this video has shown you the forecast tool in great detail, how you can use it, all of the possibilities, and just an array of different options that are available to you as a trader or investor or researcher on TradingView. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to go out there and give the forecast tool a try. Please leave any comments or predictions that you have and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always reading the comments and we look forward to reading your feedback as well because it helps us build. So we are always trying to build new features and tools for all of the traders and investors who are on the TradingView platform or who are just our generally interested in markets in general. And as one final reminder, this is really just a, a tutorial video. Remember, no real money was on the line. These tools are designed to give you another capability to perform better research and or to take your understanding of markets to a deeper level. Wow, look at that candle. How cool is that? So you can actually see your prediction on the chart and just see how wrong it is in real time, which is another great way to learn. So thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to reading your comments below.